Hey math lovers, Ms. Amber here again. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Today we're gonna to be talking about long multiplication. Let's just jump right into a problem. Let's take 68 times 352. The thing about multiplication, it's what's called commutative. That means you can multiply in any order and the answer won't change. For instance, three times two is six, two times three is also six. Different order, same numbers, same answer. So even though our problem is 68 times 352, if we're gonna write this vertically as a long multiplication problem, it's actually much easier to put the smaller or shorter number, the one with fewer digits, on the bottom. Um, so what's the difference between numbers and digits though? A lot of people don't know, so I'll explain that real quick. A uh, digit is used to make up a number. So the number 352 is made of the digits three, five, and two. So when I say digits and numbers, now you understand what I'm referring to. So the number with fewer digits in our multiplication problem is 68, it only has two digits, a six and an eight. So it will be easier to do our problem with that number on bottom. So let's set up our problem as 352 on top times 68 on the bottom. So how do we multiply those? We start with the units digit in the bottom number. That would be the eight. We'll take that eight and multiply it by every single digit across the top in 352. As we multiply, we'll carry over any extras, just as you would do in addition, carrying over. And what do you do when you carry a number over? Well, you add it. So let's see how that works in multiplication. We start with the eight, we'll multiply that by two. Eight times two is 16. I can't write that whole 16 down below, so I have to carry the tens digit over to the next column. So we'll carry the one over to the next column and we'll write it above the five. But the six, we'll write right below the eight. We continue multiplying across with the eight. So now we have eight times five. Well, what's eight times five? Yes, it's 40. Then what do we do with that one that we carried? Well, that's when we add it. So now we'll add the one to the product we just found. 40 plus one is 41. So that's our new answer. Just like the 16, we can't fit all of that below. So we'll carry over the four and we'll write the one below and continue our multiplication with the eight. Now we have eight times three, but we've carried a four above that three. So what's eight times three? And then add four. There it is, 28. Now we're gonna write that 28 below. So notice what answer we have below right now, 2,816. However, we're not done yet because there's still another digit in our bottom number. So now we'll move over to that digit and multiply that digit by everything in the top number. Since we're moving over a place, we have to use what's called a placeholder. So that's just a zero to show that this place is no longer being used, but we're starting in the next column. So notice when we started with the eight, the eight is in the units digit. So when we started writing our answer below, we wrote it in the units digit. The six, however, is in the tens place. So once we start multiplying and writing our answer, we'll wanna write that answer in the tens place. So we put a placeholder in the units digit or the ones place, to hold it so we start writing in the right place, in the tens. Now let's multiply with the six. So we're gonna take six times two, which is 12. So remember we have to carry now. So we carry the one over and we write the two below, now next to the zero in the tens place. We continue multiplying with our six. Now we have six times five, which is 30. And then what do we do with that one we carried? Exactly, so we get 31. Now what number are we going to carry? You're right, the three. We carry the three over to the next column and then we write the one below. Now we're gonna multiply six times three and add the three that we carried there. What's that gonna give us? Absolutely, 21, because six times three is 18 and then plus three makes 21. So now when we write that below, see what answer we have. We now have 21,120. There's no more digits to multiply with, but what do we do with these two numbers that we just wrote down? We just add them now. So we'll draw another line under here and we'll add these two together 
column by column. So six plus zero is six, one plus two is three, eight plus one is nine, two plus one is three, and then we just have a two. So our final answer, as you can see, 23,936. Hope that helps you with your long multiplication. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Check out our other videos as well. See you next time.